Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. And I'm Llewellyn Falco. And we're here recording, we're teaching kids programming a short video on how to teach the quiz. So where are they right now? They would be, uh, the teachers would be at, or the students would be at, running the variation. So let's go ahead and run the variation. This is from Square. Now if you're running short of time, you're going to make this part shorter or even cut it out. Hopefully you can do it with Square, but with subsequent recipes you might have to do that. But you never ever want to skip the quiz. And why isn't that? I mean, like, as a kid I hated the quizzes. Yeah, well our quizzes are different. They're, the quizzes aren't for the teacher, they're for the kids. For the teacher, so before I'd do the quiz, get graded on it, and the teacher would know how well I was paying attention. Yeah, this quiz is so that you as a kid can understand that you've learned. You can actually say, wow, I've actually learned that. You can realize it. And we actually see that. We're going to show you some pictures at the end. But we want to show you how to teach it first. Now, just like our quizzes are different um, than a typical quiz, teaching it or facilitating is different. So I'm going to play the role of the teacher. And actually, for most of this, the teacher actually does very little. The whole idea is to let the kid do it so that yeah. they know that they've learned. We're going to now take you through an example and watch closely and see what I do as a teacher and what I don't do. So Llewellyn's a student. Go ahead, import, and import FFC 797, and click OK, and uh, put it so you can see it. And what you're going to do first is you're going to just test it out by um, running it. Fail! Yeah, you got some work to do. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to start in line 6 and you're going to translate the green instructions just like you did in the recipe into small basic. And you want to read really closely. If you get stuck, read the English and use all the help that you learned in the recipe. So go ahead and get started and try it after each one. Did you try it after the first one? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, it's, it's not working. Yeah, what you're going to want to do is make each question work. So you're going to want to undo what you did in question two, and then you want to get question one passing. Okay, so you made, uh, a, you made a good start there, but you got to read, read, that, read that English out on line five for me. Turn the tortoise. The whole thing. Uh, turn the tortoise one-fifth of 360. Okay, and you're gonna need to tell the tortoise. Ah, oh, there yeah, you go. There, it is. there you go. Nice start, and then just keep going. Yay! Oh, teacher, I don't get it. Well, let's see. Now, when we got stuck, when we were doing the recipe, on the bottom, that message, that meant that you had to make some corrections. So read that message out on the bottom. Uh, operation tortoise pin color is supplied one arguments, but takes zero arguments. Okay, and what are those numbers in the beginning? What does that mean again? Uh, 16, that's line 16, which is the line I'm doing. Yeah, okay. So um, read the English on line 15. Change the color the tortoise draws to yellow. Okay, and you are telling the tortoise to get the pen color. How can you find out more about what that means? Oh, it's over here in the documentation. Okay, so if, read that out. Gets the color currently drawn by the tortoise. The default is black. Okay, so if you think about gets the color, and then the English is what again? Change the color the tortoise draws to yellow. Are those the same thing? No. So you need to tell the tortoise to do something else. How would you do that? How can you find out what else the tortoise can do? Good. Good, you're searching, good. Uh, okay. Nice. Almost done. Teacher, help. Yeah, you're gonna try undoing there and see. Oh, looks like you got rid of that end sub. Why don't you try that out and see if that works. Hey, nice job. Oh. So, in general, the whole idea here is to let the kids pass. And we find that almost all of them pass, right? So, 
what's it really important? Like, what's the main thing a teacher needs to do here? You really want to let the kids be successful on their own. You do not want to tell them the words or the answer, and you'll want to. You'll really want to. But you notice that I said read the English, read the documentation, keep exploring. The other thing is they'll be working in pairs, so you want to encourage both both the pair to participate because they might be tired at this point. The other one that's not on the keyboard might be maybe not paying as much attention and say, hey, you got two brains over here, you both work on it. The other thing that happens with this that we really encourage is once people do pass and people other people are out there still working on it, encourage them to play around with it. So if Llewellyn were to go back here and to change the yellow to blue, he would fail, or purple or whatever, he would fail, but notice that the reward shape now turns purple. So it's a, a version of the variations. Yeah. And it's important to remember that different kids are going to take different time to do it. Allow them the time to do it. We're going to show you a really quick video of just how joyful it is when you do get the questions right. <laughs> 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 